What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And what is going on in my overlay, man? It keeps flashing up and down. But anyway, we are ready. We're going to be having a look at the new Showtime Italian League Guardians. Now, I will also do a review on the players that are in this pack, such as Labotka, Samar, Tamori, Spinazzola, all of these guys. Because there's some... Listen, lads, there's some okay players in here. I don't know if it's worth doing training guys in them all, but if you do want it as ever, let me know. But I do think that these three guys are definitely worth a mention because to me personally, I don't think they're worth spinning for lads. I think they're very disappointing Showtime players. Now, I will say that the Marco is kind of on paper um, worth it, I would say, but De Lorenzo and Maignan, for me, they're not, worth, they're not worth spinning for. That's just personally for me. That's somebody with a stacked team. But even if I got one of these guys in a free, brilliant. Yeah, if you got a free spin or you got a couple of spins, you got it in you know a 10-player pack, it might be worth 900 coins. But I don't think it's going uh, going to be a heavy one that we go for, Um, to be honest. Because we're going to start with Maignan, right? So all of these players here have got boosters. I'll just actually take off my webcam here for a sec just to show you the booster effect. Um, This guy has got goalkeeping. So he's going to get a plus two to awareness, catch and parrying and reflexes. But even at that, right, with 24 levels to go on this card, he's still not going to have, you know, like groundbreaking or like amazing stats compared to some of the other goalkeepers. Like, I think that's where the discrepancy has crept in is that they're now in a position with Dream Team is that the only thing they can do to make the players more attractive is to boost up the stats. And when they don't hit a certain level, even if the players perform better than the stats actually suggest, you are kind of, you know, you are kind of pushed away from players that don't have those shiny stats, right? So um, I do feel that when you take a look at this guy's form, he does have a low, long throw, but he doesn't have a low punt. That's a bit of an issue for me. Now, don't get me wrong. Mignan is a fantastic keeper, lads. When we actually take a look over here with his player build, um, this is just one player build that we did. I'll just actually scroll down here a second. So he's got seven into goalkeeper one, 10 into goalkeeper two and three. And that's going to give you 83 offensive goalkeeper awareness and clearing and then 86 catching, 92 reflexes and 87 reach. Now, bear in mind, okay, all of these stats, these goalkeeper stats, apart from reach, are going to have the manager boost when you have them in your formation and your manager is fairly high rated, such as Pep. And they're also going to get the booster boost here. So that's the booster boost is going to give you plus two on all of these. So every stat that you're seeing here is going to have a plus two with the booster. So you're talking about awareness is going to be 85, catching is going to be 88, clearing is going to be 85, and reflex is going to be 94. So when you get the manager boost as well, that's going to go even higher, right, to bring him up to that 97 overall. But I just feel like that this card is just, it's kind of standard enough for what you'd be expecting out of your goalkeepers now, right? When we take a look at De Lorenzo, this guy has always been a kind of a polarizing player. Some people love him, some people don't like using him. He's kind of mid-tier with the dribbling and the, the passing and stuff. He doesn't have great player skills either. He is more defensive, which is why we've got him at this defensive build. You're going to have 88 tackling. His booster is actually going to be different. Um, both players are going to be different. We'll get to the pick of him now in a second. But he's an attacking fullback. His booster is going to be dueling, the same as Makaleli. So it's going to be speed, stamina, defensive awareness, and tackling. Uh, Cambiasso also has it this week, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but we'll have a look at him in a bit. But he's got 35 levels to go. He's on C rating. He's got okay player skills. I mean, area superiority, slide and tackle, interception. Personally speaking, lads, I think Wambasaka is a better option than him if you're looking for a defensive right back. And I would even say that like Albert Ferrer, who's free on the eFootball Point store, can compete with this guy attacking wise. He's neither here nor there. Now I would definitely train him defensive. Wambasaka's style, because Wambasaka is a beast right back for me. He's amazing defensively. This guy's going to be getting the boost to those stats: defensive awareness and tackling, and then of course speed and stamina. So they're going to be really, really high stats even without the manager boost. Okay. But the rest of his stats, you're not going to be passing. You're going to be kind of running and gunning. I would use him as my defensive option. That's just personally me. Um, I've used De Lorenzo multiple cards on him before, and I definitely think his defense is where he shines through rather than his attack. Now, on the flip side, you've also got um, this guy, DeMarco, who's actually got a showtime skill. So he's got the booster. He's also got edged crossing. So that's kind of like edge crossing is kind of like stun and cross without having to press stun and cross. It's literally just a contextual thing that kicks in um, when you're crossing the ball in certain situations. So he's got amazing crossing ability, amazing passing ability. He has lofted pass at 89 straight off the rip at level one with 35 levels to go. Plus he's on A rating. So he definitely is going to be a meta right back or left back when you have the game uh, this week if you have him on A rating and you actually spin him, and you don't have the likes of Carlos. You've never played with a top-tier, like, 100 overall 
uh, left back that can just swing balls in left, right and centre. Absolutely brilliant if you've got a target man up front, right? So I do like DeMarco. He definitely interests me, especially if Collar is coming next week or the week after or whenever he does drop uh, when he's back from holidays from Santa Panza. I do feel that DeMarco would be brilliant, but I think Carlos will do a similar job. So that's why I probably wouldn't spin for him. If I didn't have Carlos, I probably would spin for him, to be honest with you, right? But when we take a look at his build with that booster in effect... It's going to be a very interesting build, I think, for depending on how you like to play. Now, he does go up to a 96 here, okay? But when we have the build here, that is going to be the build we go for. 95 lofted pass with the manager boost and the booster boost. We're going to get that very, very high into the 98, 99. Low pass is good. Tight possession is good. You can kind of play around with these stats. When certain players hit certain stats, lads, you can actually play around and not have much of a difference on the card, right? So, for example... We have popped 9 into dribbling and 9 into dexterity. If you find yourself that you're not dribbling that often with him and you want to take a few of them down, you can pop 3 in to get his acceleration up to 88, which will bring it into the 90 zone, the balance into the 90 zone as well. There's probably a better build of him. It's just that you're lacking a little bit of dribbling. We want to be just getting the ball into the box with this guy. He's got pinpoint crossing, weighted pass, edged crossing, but he also has interception, which is interesting as well. I would be using him as my attacking option 100% though, 100%. So... Let me know what you guys think. I mean, obviously, they're in with the rest of these Guardians as well, which are quite disappointing. Um, but let me know what your thoughts are on the showtime at the moment, lads. Let me know with the way that they're dropping the players. Let me know the crack. And we can have a discussion about it on the live stream this week. But yeah, until next time, lads, don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Daily videos, two or three videos a day. You know what we do. Streaming three times a week. And uh, yeah, if you like the videos, don't forget to subscribe when you get a chance after this video and check out some more videos. I'll see you later. Peace.